Welcome back. This is Ravens Bolus, AK Ravens. So I was thinking, possible last killer for Dead by Daylight. Um, when I say last killer, you have that space right there next to the pig. Um, License-wise, doesn't make any sense because you have people want Hellraiser, right? People want Hellraiser. Hellraiser is this demonic being. He's essentially a higher level demon and if the entity were to trap Hellraiser and put Hellraiser inside the entity's realm Hellraiser would totally take over there's no doubts about it power rise it doesn't make sense story wise at all either like he is way more powerful yeah he can get trapped in a cube but as we can see the entity doesn't have that ability um, to pick up something like that and if it were to summon Hellraiser it wouldn't benefit the entity the Hellraiser could take it over the realm over and then people have asked about it Pennywise um, that's another higher level being um, he's like a he's got he's a god basically or a evil god in um, Stephen King's universe and stuff like that. Um, yeah, he's mostly a clown, like if he's trapped in that form, but he's another being that could take over uh, the web, which doesn't make sense. Um, I don't think that Stephen King would sell uh, the license to um, Dead by Daylight just because it makes so much money by itself, and you never really seen a Stephen King esque video game or character from any of his um, stuff correct me if I'm wrong um, so that moving on from that people have said well let's do a Jeepers Creepers thing that movie they recently had a movie come out of Jeepers Creepers it didn't do so well um, functionality wise he would probably function like the cannibal uh, Jeepers Creepers also isn't really a popular um, killer nowadays he's more of a creature monster so moving on from that one uh we got some people said well chucky chucky is too small he won't be able to hook people he's strong but he's not strong enough to lift someone up and hook someone um it's just too small of a character that's what the dev said the problem with uh having billy the puppet as the killer um it's just too small and doesn't work for the environment it'd be kind of funny seeing him run around with little arms and stuff with that little knife it just won't work um, as far as uh, those guys go they're pretty much out so it comes to I started thinking about what, what could go next um, there's Candyman that came out in 1992 um, which would function like the, the Wraith but the problem with uh, Candyman is it's not a popular killer uh, it's a vengeful ghost uh, and he, he's just it came out so long ago that not many people recognize it or would buy into it. So we'll just throw that one out. Um, next, there's... Uh, what do you call it? There's... I said two creepers. Next, there's... You would have to go... F there's Scream, right? So a lot of people say, what about Scream? Um, anyone can play Scream that could be a highly possible uh, character uh, the scream ghost face uh, he would function a lot like the slasher which we kinda already know we kinda have a slasher with uh, the shape Michael Myers so I mean we, I'm not saying they wouldn't do it they probably would do it it kinda has a little bit of popularity because of the MTV scream show um, like I said the problem with that though is the uh, he would play kind of like the shape, but the devs and the game got the they're not uh, against uh, making killers similar, which isn't a bad thing. That's a good thing. Um, if it works, it works. You know, don't fix what's not broke. So that is the most highly likely character that they would put out there would be um, Ghostface, just because of uh, the mild popularity, and we got these guys over here. Some people are like, well, why don't you put Jason in there? There's a huge problem with that. There's the Friday the 13th game. They won't put 
Jason in um, Dead by Daylight because it would take too much away from Friday the 13th. I don't enjoy the Friday the 13th game. I prefer Dead by Daylight. Um, it just wouldn't make sense for the license holders and the company and the devs from that game to give the rights to Dead by Daylight when that will take whatever's coming out from that game and then everyone will be playing this. Um, I do enjoy this game a lot more too because there's more options as far as killers and stuff like that go. Uh, playing the same killer over and over again gets kind of boring. Um, and when I say the last killer, I, I said that because as far as license, there's not many more they can do. They won't do an anamorphic uh, character or creature because it's just too hard for the design. The c creature killer has to be um, human-like in that case. Um, so then we'd have to move on from license killers if Ghostface would be the last one. The ne uh, they would have to be all original ideas, original characters. You could go with urban myths, urban legends, uh, like Blood their Bloody Mary, for example. Um, someone brought up during one of their streams, uh, there's Bloody Mary, uh, a pyro person, someone that uses fire uh, would be pretty cool. Um, they might be using some, they might have a contest or something with uh, people adding new killers and stuff like that, and whatever's the best one or they vote on it will be the next killer. Uh, like I said, there's this one space right here. That could be the next killer. Doesn't mean they don't have room. See, they could go all the way out here, and I think that's the idea. That we will see more killers, but they won't be licensed killers. Um... So this is Ravens Bloodless, aka Ravens. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for further Dead by Daylight videos. Um, catch you guys later.